for, for being inducted to the American Association of Political Consultants Hall of Fame. This award is well deserved, no doubt long overdue. It's high time someone else did something for you. So I hope you have a wonderful celebration. She has her own advance. Incredible. I think they were afraid I was too short. <laughs> wow. You know, I think um, when Joe started off, he started off using the word humble. And I guess I should start off using the word grateful. Grateful that, you know, somebody decided, Tom, Elena, Mark, that I was worthy. So I thank you. But I also want to say, Joe, I need to get President Clinton on the phone because he needs to know that you ruined his life <laughs> <laughs> with your contract for America. <laughs> oh, we went through it. <laughs> so, but you know, when I was listening to him and I was telling my dear friend Yolanda, my God, he's just saying everything that I wish Democrats and Republicans could hear. I mean, you spoke the values that I believe that most of us believe that we should carry when we get into this business. So I do hope that while you're getting the awards, that you continue to spend some time teaching and training all of us because I just, just listening to you, I was reinvigorated. So thank you so much for your service. And yes, I'm still mad that you, you took all the house seats and all of this, <laughs> but thank you for your service and congratulations. You know, I'd first like to start off thanking some of the people that decided to make this sojourn with me. I honestly believe that they put Jenny on me because they didn't think I would come because they know that I'm just, not, I, you know, I kind of felt like I was in jail with Jenny. You know how they put somebody, put, put handcuffs on somebody and put them on the plane with you, put them in, make sure you get to the hotel, that was Jenny. But she's, <laughs> she's played such an instrumental part in working with AAPC and thank you so much. I think she's adored becoming a producer, so I don't know, we might be losing her as the greatest communication strategist in the world because she, she helped produce this, this video, so thank you. And then I look around at Andre and Steve and all the people that you made miserable, Joe, in the Clinton administration, they decided to show up anyway, so thank you again. <laughs> but thank you all for coming, and Jill, thank you. I know you're not with us anymore at Dewey, but you're still in our hearts. And my, my best girlfriend, Yolanda, who we started off trying to be like her in politics, and she instilled in us a very long time ago. And even, even though she's not old, but she just, she just worked hard, played by the rules, and we saw her playing by the rules and we wanted to become her. So look at me, Yolanda. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for training me. I'd like to thank Tom and Elena in particular. I don't know really what goes into doing this and what, what you have to do to, be, to get this award, but I am deeply, deeply thankful that you are recognizing me tonight that is something that I could go home and tell my mother so that she can say, are they talking about you again? But that's okay. Yes, mom, I got the video to prove it this time. But I do thank you and I thank you. I hope that in some measure, I can continue to hold up the standards of this organization because we are living in some, some different times. But I also believe that as President Clinton said in the video, and as my fellow honoree so, so appropriately articulated, really this is about the values that we want to share about America. This is about the values that we want everybody to believe about us as a country. And you don't have to parrot anybody in politics. You just have to have the will to serve. You know, I look at a lot of the young people and I see a lot of the young people in the audience 
And sometimes I wonder what they really believe about politics, what they really think that politics is all about. But in the end, it really is about just serving people. You don't have to do anything greater than that but serve people. Because one thing that I learned when I was at the White House, with the stroke of a pen, you can change somebody's life for the better or for the worse. But if you are in that room, you could possibly change somebody's life for the better because you could hear something. You could hear them saying something that doesn't really comport with you. And if you have the courage to speak up and say, mm, I think we need to go back on this, then you could be changing a whole nation. And that's just how serious the work you are doing. You know, we laugh about, you know, the work that we do, you know, we, we laugh about how, you know, it's a contact sport, and it is a contact sport, because that tank was ridiculous. It is a contact, <laughs> it is a contact sport. But it is also, if you really, really think about it, it is also something that can change America for the better. And you could be that one that's changing America. And, I, and I'm certain that this little black girl from the south side of Chicago, Latoya, where are you? There you are, south side of Chicago, never thought she would be standing here accepting a Lifetime Achievement Award from an organization that has honored, like Mark said, people that are far more well-known than me, but it's because I just decided I wanted to dedicate my life to service, that's all. I didn't want to have a title. I don't need to be on, in the media. I just wanted to serve. That's how I got in it, and I hope that's how I leave serving. Thank you very much. <laughs> Do you all understand now why this is my favorite part of our conference? <laughs> I, uh, speaking on behalf of AAPC, I can't tell you how honored we are to be able to honor each one of you. But this is still the AAPC conference, which means there's eating and drinking to be had. <laughs> <laughs> so. Instructions for the remainder of the evening. Invite, <laughs> invite delegates to after party in the conservatory on the first floor, food and drinks, and take an opportunity to tour the museum. Thank you all for being here. Good evening. <laughs>